Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I'll be sharing some quick tips with you guys. I want to show you how to use Instagram on your iPad. Of course, there is an Instagram app. I've got it open here right now. It's just that the iPhone and Instagram app stretch out a lot. It's originally really small like this. The resolution is kind of bad, and because it's just the iPhone version stretch out, the buttons and the user interface don't work all that well. So today I want to show you the best way to use Instagram on iPad. Today we are not going to be using the Instagram app. Instead, we will open Safari. And then we'll type in the Instagram URL in the search bar and hit enter. You can also search Instagram and it will show up. Now we have the desktop version of Instagram. There is this grid display which makes all the drawings and pictures really large. And we can have it show the sidebar too. It's all really easy to see. But now we are just searching for Instagram in Safari. And it's kind of painful to have to do this every time. But if you just add this page to your home screen, it's really easy. There's option label add to home screen in the share menu at the top right. So go ahead and add it. Now we have the Instagram icon on the home screen here. It's almost like it's an app. And then when you press it, you open the desktop page and you can look at your feed and everything. Another thing to keep an eye on is this tab part at the top here. Right now it's just empty space, but when we went to the page in Safari, it had all the tabs in the menu bar there. As you add this page to the home screen though, all of that goes away. So it really feels like you're just using an app. And even if you're using portrait mode, the grid is still displayed really nicely. With the app, the pictures might be way too small, or if you got it in landscape mode, it might still display in portrait mode. It's pretty annoying, but with this you can scroll with no worries. You can also look at stories too. Lately, I've been really working on my stories. I'll be so happy if you follow. I've been putting stuff in stories pretty often lately. Everyday stuff, what I bought, where I've been, any drawings I've been recently, and so on. So please follow me on Instagram if you're interested. I also have my Twitter, but right now I'm really focusing on Instagram. And there you have it. I would love it if you all added Instagram to your home screen so that you can check out my stories too. And that's it for today's tutorial. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram, Amity Sensei. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad. So please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.